everybody and welcome to Sassy Muskoka. Today we're going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. products. One is the poreless face primer and the other one is a poreless putty primer. I do prefer the poreless face primer so we're going to use that today. Just a couple of drops, mix it in between your fingers. It does have a, a little bit of a distinct, it's almost like a chemical smell. But once that gets on, it just smooths my skin. I already have put on my um, Ordinary Skin products. So next we'll go in with the Flawless Satin Finish from e.l.f. And as I'm sure everyone knows, e.l.f. stands for eyes, lips, and face. Now I did buy this with Madison a couple weeks ago and have tried it out. I think it's great. It's got a pump and it's glass. And in Canada it's $7.97 at Walmart. I believe you can also buy e.l.f. products here in Canada at Old Navy and Old Navy Online. But you can also check out the e.l.f. website and I'll have that linked below. My brush today is by Quo. It's the full coverage complexion. And I'm just going to tap it in. You can also use your fingers with this, but I really like this brush. I'm not a huge fan of the sponges. I do have a sponge here. I bought some from Real Technique last week um, when Madison and I went out. So we'll see if this color is a little bit better of a match now. Still looking a little bit too light. I find that this brush does, because it's so dense, it does um, thin it out a lot. But there's no discernible scent to this and I'm wearing it in this shade beige. So if you're anywhere near my skin type, Beige might be just a little bit too light. Along the sides and down the neck. Now I'm just going to go over that quickly with my fingers. Just tapping it in. Alright, let's see how that worked out. It's a beautiful day here in Muskoka. Sun is shining, 30 degrees. A little bit hot. There we go. So next we're going to use the um, e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It, I have the Hydrating and the shade Bare Warm. And I also noticed that when I bought this it was also too light for me, but we're going to make it work. Just a little bit in the corner. I don't wear a ton of makeup. I started looking at YouTube makeup videos. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques 300 brush deluxe crease brush to do my uh, concealer. So I started watching them about three years ago. Keith and I have been married for two years this September. Uh, and I don't wear a lot of makeup. I never have. I wanted to do uh, my own makeup for the wedding. Sorry, I'm sure I'm making a whole bunch of different faces right now. So I wanted to do my own makeup for the wedding because I found that uh, anything that I was looking at at Pinterest um, or on YouTube was really almost made me look fake. So I wanted to be, you know, genuine to myself and knew that I wouldn't be wearing a lot of makeup. So you can see that, that that's pretty bright. I do like to bring it up onto the eyelid almost like a primer as well. Now I am going to set this with the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder from e.l.f. I've had this for quite a long time and it's in that original clear and white packaging. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, we will put a little bit under the eyes here. Right now I'm using the Real Techniques 200 brush. This is the Expert Face Brush. We will be going in with this over the whole face, but I am going to be using a putty um, blush first. So I'm going to be wearing the e.l.f. Glistening Peach Putty Blush. And I like to just put it on my face. You can also just tap it onto a brush. But I, with this product, I like to just put it on my face. So let's just roll it up here. Uh, I think, I know there's a lot of different shades, so I think I'm going to get something a little... Um, 
less pink the next time, even though this is peach. I am going to be using the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush to apply this. And you can see there is a little tiny bit of a sheen there. Just bring it down a little bit. You can also use your fingers just for a nice wash of color. You can also see the texture there of my skin from uh, previous acne. I did use Accutane when I was about... Sorry, that was up a little bit high there. I did use some Accutane when I was in my 30s. I'm 47 now. And it helped a lot. Let's see how that looks. Just a nice wash of color, but you can definitely see there's a little sparkle to it. Next I'll be using the e.l.f. Contour Palette and I'm going to be using this dark color down here. I will be using the MAC Brush 116 SE. Just tap in there. Nice little wash across the cheek. And then a little bit up here. Now we were out on the boat last night so I did get a little bit of sun so we'll see how this all blends together. But I have used this product before and it really works great. So we're just going to blend that in together. Just bring the, the last little bit down the front here. So you can see that that's given a nice sun-kissed glow, but it's not too dark. Next I'm going to go in with the uh, Real Techniques 400 blush brush with the setting powder and just set that down. Let's just give it a quick look and see how it looks. Next we're going to move on to highlights. So I got this uh, baked highlight and blush off Amazon and when I got it I found it was really chalky. So I'll show you the swatches here. They're just very, they're not great. I just found them too chalky. So I did buy another one which is this e.l.f. highlighter and I find it to be exactly the same. So what I do is I just tap a little bit onto the setting brush, uh, the R402, sorry, the Real Techniques 402, just get some on my, and then just tap it right under your eye there. And you can see how pretty that is. I'm also going to be using this on my brow bones on, and on the inside of my, uh, inside of my eyes. Tiny bit down the nose, Cupid's bow. Now we'll move on to the eyes. You have two palettes. One is the bite size palette, which I use almost every day that I wear makeup, and it's in rose quartz, and I use all the colors. Uh, the second one is this one that I got at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Uh, I thought it was great because it had tons of neutrals, other blue had some other colors, some blue, which is very pigmented. However, I find that the pan size is too small, so I don't reach for it all the time. So today we're going to be using the e.l.f. Bite Size in Rose Quartz. So I will be using the MAC 226SE to put this just all over shade, all over my eye very quickly. Like I said, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just like to be able to do, like spend the most five minutes on my makeup. So there, that's done. The eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to go into that nice rose quartz color and just tap that all over the lid. I'm just going to grab a different brush back to the MAC brush to just blend that into the crease.
Now, the other option you can do is use this lightest pinky color here and use that under the brow bone. So we'll do that today instead of uh, the highlighter. And a little bit on the corner of the eyes. And again, I'm going to take that MAC brush. Just blend that all in. Make sure it's not too sparkly. Then I'm going to use a Wet n Wild brush. Just a tiny little angled brush in with that darkest shade. So the one brush that I don't have that I would want to get is the smudge brush because this is too dark for me. Just a little bit on the corner. So what I've been doing lately is just pushing the product up. Sorry, I'm making all these funny faces. So, uh, I don't have a, uh, even though I'm calling this a full face of e.l.f., I don't have a mascara. I do want, I do want the Lash It Loud mascara, but I haven't, uh, when I went to Walmart last week, they didn't have it. So I am going to be using the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline, which was recommended by Jessica Braun on YouTube. If you, uh, I also have her linked below if you want to go check her out. Uh, I find this to be a little more than... Uh, like I find the volume to be very good with this like I said I don't wear a ton of makeup even when I do sometimes I don't wear mascara with it so I do find this a little bit wet when you apply it and I didn't curl my lashes or anything like that I usually don't do that second thing is my brows I usually don't do my brows at all however elf does have a really neat pe uh, brow pencil so I just use this fully and go through it as you can see my eyes aren't my eyebrows aren't perfect I do need a couple areas underneath plucked but I usually don't put any product in them at all so I've been searching for my elf lipstick I just bought it today from the dollar store and I can't find it so I was outside in the sunroom uh, preparing for this video and the cat got it so I don't know where it ended up so I'm, I'm gonna be trying uh, the L'Oreal Infallible uh, 8 hour lip gloss and I have it in the shade 115 so it does uh, match really nicely with the eye look that I have today only setting spray I use is the Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus so we'll put that on I'm going to take one last look in the mirror. Hope it's good. I am thinking that that blush went, I put that blush just a little bit too high. No creasing at all with that camo concealer. I think we're done. So please keep watching. I have lots more videos coming up. And please subscribe so you'll be notified of the next videos coming up. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.